Jets match up against the Patriots. Can New England get revenge? The answer comes your way next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Bay State in Massachusetts. Welcome to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Two teams in this one going in the right direction. Thanks for having us in. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, Greg. Both these squads come in off winning streaks. Something's going to have to give, but you love having that momentum coming into a game like this. And absolutely right, Mike. And on top of it, if you're the home team today playing in front of your home crowd, not only are you coming off this win streak and bringing this momentum into another home game, but you get the energy, you get the excitement of your crowd who's also riding this wave of winning football. Football. But on the other sideline, you've got a hungry, hot road team that's looking in saying, all right, if you don't take us serious today, we're going to try. So pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set. And off we go here on EA Sports. He'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. They let out by their quarterback, the rookie from Alabama. A lot of things jump off the tape when you watch last week, Mike, but it was really just the overall execution of the game plan that stuck out the most. I mean, not only to get them in that end zone a handful of times, he protected the ball, and he routinely exploited the weaknesses that they found during the week on film. He's gonna be looking to do the same thing over these next four quarters. If he's successful, they're gonna have a shot to leave here with another win. Here's a second and six. On the option, they give it to Stevenson. And he's gonna be brought down up past the 45. Pickup of 14 on that one. First down, New England. They'll go again here with Stevenson. And this time they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big gain that carry. It's second down. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Ben in motion is Brown. Now this time, they'll look to throw. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. And he's not going to get the first down. Met and brought down in the backfield. On third and short, they do not get it done. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Barriger to punt. As he'll come on to punt this one away. Trying for the old school coffin corner. That's pretty close out of bounds. They're going to mark it at the five-yard line. Well done. The Miami offense will make their way onto the field. They'll be let out by the young man in his second season in the NFL. It's not often that you can win by multiple scores in the NFL, so you got to imagine they're coming into this week's game with a lot of confidence. They were able to put together a pretty well-rounded performance in all three phases last week. So, again, can they build off that? Can they continue to grow as an entire team? Because offense, defense, and solid contribution from their special teams they showed last week and going forward, this is going to be a hard team to beat. Here's a first carry for their running back. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, fourth coming. He'll drop the throw. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And it... Looks like he's going to have the first down. What great work after the catch to extend the drive. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. 
Back to throw. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. On second down, they run the counter. And he'll fight forward for a couple of yards, but a flag is down, and the linemen are already walking back. First down, Miami. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. Back to the sideline and intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Jones. Well, we're getting a little test here early, Mike, to see just how easy is this team to wrap up. Didn't look like they were able to get through that opening script that they had worked on all week. So I'm going to be curious on this next drive. Do they stick to the plan? Do they pick up where they left off? Or is there a little bit of a reaction, or dare I say panic, to come out and make some adjustments in response to that early interception? The Pates offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Stevenson. Uh-oh. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. They'll gain 17 on that one. A very quick first down. We'll go right back to Stevenson. Taking on the defenders. Plowing forward. A pickup of five. Ben in motion is Brown. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. And he is going to go down. They sack him to end the first quarter. So not much to speak of in terms of scoring in that first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing is the score. And we're back to Foxborough in a moment. Here's Bryce Beringer again to punch it away. He's on for the second time. They'll try to get something inside the tent. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and we'll come out to the 20-yard line. The Dolphins' offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Back to throw here to begin the drop. And they'll get it up four here as he is taken down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. And he's going to have a first down. Tackle made up at the 33-yard line. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. 
Now they'll set up to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. 11 yards on the connection there. Good for a Dolphins first down. First down, Dolphins. give on the ground and he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage but will not happen here he's going to lose a yard second and 11 back to the ground he'll get it again and they'll stop it at least it's an improvement over the last play they're not losing yards and it didn't gain any here and now it's going to be third down Motion man is the tight end going right. He's got his man right side. It's complete. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. It's a gain of 34. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap. The quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. So often for a defense defending the passing game, the most difficult guy to account for is the running back out of the backfield. So a really nice job here bringing him down before he has a chance to pick up any yards after the catch. They'll look to throw. And he's in. Tyreek Hill. Touchdown, Dolphins. It's his second touchdown of the year. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Dolphins will take a 7-0 lead. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This taken at the five. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to take over once more. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 our score as this drive begins with a first down. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. A gain of four. Now, second and six. On second down, here's a run with Stevenson. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. He's just such a hard guy to get on the ground. You can see just his strength and his ability to fight through contact. But give credit to the defense. They kept coming after him, and eventually they got him down on the ground. They got him down for a loss. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Here's Bryce Barringer now as he's on to punt for New England. This brought in out past the 20. Ah, oh, that could have broken for a bigger return, but as it is... Nice job getting his offense a start out past the 30-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Right away, they'll set up to throw. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. 
They'll work now on second and four. He'll look to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll take this down inside for 35. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They'll look to throw yet again. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, take it in over the middle. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Now the Dolphins are going to use the first for their timeouts. And they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half. They'll look to throw again. They'll look to set up the screen here. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. Elliott on now for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Dolphins move out on top, 14 to nothing. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense is going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit. 14-0 the score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side taken in by Pope. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. That's complete to Ramondre Stevenson out of the backfield. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense. And they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. New England going to take their second timeout. It'll come with 36 ticks left on the first half clock. This complete to Pope. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Brings up third down and three yards to go. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. He'll find his tight end. That's Henry. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. First and 10. To the air one more time. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner 
Next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. And he is two for two. That kick is good. And the Patriots get their first points of the game. They trail 14 to three. Seven seconds, all that remains, till halftime. And the kick is away. A couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. And they'll let not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we're at the half, and the visiting Dolphins are in the lead. As we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically, where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, and that's been a back-and-forth game, all tied in the second quarter. From there, we'll head to Pittsburgh to check on the Steelers at home at Akershire Stadium. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting Jags who are out in front. Christian Kirk, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City, see what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. The Bills locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Third quarter set to commence, and we're back underway here on EA Sports. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback coming out for drive number two. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position instrumental in leading and executing and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line on the bootleg he'll look to throw and they'll be set up now up past the 40 with that one He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. They take the play. What a good job defensively to meet just as the ball was arriving. And it will be second down. He'll check this down to the running back. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. Here's first and ten. Motioning one of the tight ends. This one complete right side. He is in. Touchdown, Dolphins. is Elliot to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Dolphins move out to a 21-3 advantage. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. 
The Patriots offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. They'll mark them down up at the 44-yard line. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. Throwing now on first and ten. He's done his big tight end, Henry. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. He'll drop to throw. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. The ball deflected at least a couple of times. A new ball to the ground. It's incomplete. Here's a third down and four. Back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And the Patriots ready to kick it away. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we've got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. Checking it down. This one is caught. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. We'll try again here, second and ten. This throw right side is caught by Hill. And they're going to mark him down right at the 30-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Fake. He'll look to that's over the middle and intercepted. And he's going to set up his guys with great field position. A huge chance to cut into the deficit. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his quarterback. Because this defense, they're on to you. They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. They'll start really in field goal territory already, but they're looking for more. Offense got him first and ten. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's second and nine. Slot man in motion right. Pass right side taken by Baker. Was brought down and pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and five. Now they'll set up to throw. He's got his man right side. It's complete. 11 yards on the pass there. Good for a Patriots first down. Man in motion is Brown. He'll look to throw here on first down. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10 yard line. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. First down, then goal to go. And they'll run it here with Stevenson. Some room to run as he takes it down to the two-yard line. Now here's second and goal. And he will take it in himself. Touchdown, Patriots. 
Patriots. The dual threat of the quarterback. When you have one that can run, why not use him, especially down here, Greg? And they punch it in for the touchdown. There's nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than down here near the goal line when he can call his own number. And in this case, that's exactly what he does, and he's able to take it in himself. Chad Ryland now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Pats get a bit closer here. It's now 21 to 10. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Here he is, Tyreek Hill, back to return. And he'll be taken down as the next drive will begin there. Well, they had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think, Mike, coming out here for the start of the third, that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. Right away, they'll set up to throw. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. And they will finally run him down. So a big one there to start the drive. 36 yards. What I loved most about this was just the ability of the quarterback, Mike, to so quickly go through his progression. You see early on at the top of his drop, his eyes are downfield. Quickly realizes there's not a lot of opportunities downfield. Check it down to your back and see if he can pick up the rest after the catch and move the chains with his legs. Short pass taken in by the tight end. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up here on second down and five. They send the tight end in motion. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. That is caught. And he'll take it on in. Touchdown, Miami. They extend the lead, and it looks like they're going to extend the terrific start to this season. Greg, they are just a few minutes away from a 4-0 beginning. Even since adding that 17th game to the schedule, so many coaches across the league, Mike, they still refer to the season as quarters. So they talk about, all right, let's focus going into the year on winning quarter number one. I'll tell you what, at 4-0, it doesn't get much better than that. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This returnable from the four. Oh, -ho! he'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense headed back to take over once more. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Back to throw here to begin the drop. And that's complete to A.J. Brown. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Just his first catch. They have held him in check so far. But that one gives him a first down. They'll look to throw. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. That's taken in by Brown. He'll get about six before he's taken down. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. 
They'll throw here on third and short. And he'll be taken down, but good enough to keep this drive going. It's a first down. And the Patriots, first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. They'll look to throw yet again. This one brought in by Brown. And they'll take this down inside the 35. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. They'll look to throw again. They'll get this complete. It's Polk over the middle. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Brings up second and three at the Dolphins' 24 yard Back to the air one more time. He'll find Stevenson out of the backfield. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. That's another Patriots first down. First and ten at the 17 yard line. In the red zone now. He'll drop to throw. This is caught at the two. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. That's another Patriots first down. First Bell down is the man in motion. Goal. They'll look to run with Stevenson. And he will not get in from there. In fact, I think he was shoved backwards a little bit. That's to the end zone, but they can't get it. It's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. This wasn't quite meant to. Powering forward. He's in. Ramondre Stevenson. Touchdown, New England. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Even with three timeouts, plus the two-minute warning, they're going to try an onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this one away. Late in the game, this is where you see teams really start taking some chances. And boy, this was a big one, but it's not going to work out. They'll come up here, first and ten. This drive will start on the ground, and he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense, understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. And that won't help a lot. Manages a yard for that run. Third and long. Coming up. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment. Here's a third and ten. We'll try to get this one on the ground. And we'll see a timeout used by the defense. Stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. And that one not placed as well as he had hoped. It's all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The home team's offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Stevenson finding room at the 35 and they'll bring him down but not until he gets to the 38 yard line and he can't hang on through the contact 
It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll drop to throw. That's complete to Baker. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Six catches for him in the ball game now. And this one's good for a first down. He's got his big tight end, Henry. It is second down and five. He'll drop to throw. Middle of the field. That's taken in by Baker. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. The Pats going to stop it here. They'll use their third and final timeout. They get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining here in the fourth. They'll come up now for second down. Back to throw. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. So a win here for the visiting Dolphins. They continue their winning ways in the month of September. They're off to a 3-0 start. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.